questions. One to Marion. Could you please speak a little bit about the Jewish SRI programs and the Buddhist SRI programs, where there has been some research about the benefits of those programs for religious minorities? And Tim, you talked about Christian privilege or a lack of Christian privilege in the current SRI system. So what do you think about the huge amount of money that Access Ministries gets compared to no money that faith-based minority groups, they just don't get to develop, deliver their SRI and develop their programs? Well, I should say that uh, most of what I know about Buddhist SRI, I learned from Anna who just asked the question so she can tell me if I get it wrong. Um, but uh, the research that has been done, um, including by Anna, uh, and also by um, uh, specialists in Jewish SRI and other minority groups, uh, finds that representatives of those traditions on one hand say that students who go to SRI from minority traditions say this is a time in the week where we get to be who we are and not and it's a positive thing when they uh, experience discrimination sometimes through the rest of the week so it can be an affirming uh, experience of ident religious identity also um, uh, members of religious minorities say we can't afford to run our own schools so the SRI half hour is the time when we can provide what might otherwise be provided with a bigger community through um, separate schools. On the other hand, um, if you're a minority tradition you can't possibly provide enough volunteers to get around to all schools so there is that issue of uh, equity of resourcing and as Anna pointed out exacerbated by the fact that if the majority tradition is also getting money to support its programs then minority traditions are even further up against it. Thanks Marion. Tim. Can I just add that um, I uh, absolutely support minority traditions getting uh, proportionally the funding that they need to do it. I think uh, if that's not the case, um, it should be the case. Um, I, I really do want to say though that um, I much prefer a Buddhist who actually practices and believes teaching it. Uh, I prefer a Christian who indwells the story teaching it. Um, the bias is obvious, but religion isn't simply some intellectual comparison uh, that turns it into dry as dust. I think it's life, it's juice, is the people in Dwell the Story teach it. And we can say, well, that's risky in a public school, it's risky in life. A half an hour a week, I think, given the world we live in, given the religious diversity and multiculturalism of Australia, I think that's really important. So um, that formation aspect of someone who indwells and believes the story and is supported uh, equally and proportionately, it just happens that uh, there might be more Christians and Buddhists, but there should be fair funding. Uh, I, I support that.